Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's flight is one I took from LA to Melbourne on a Qantas 787 Dreamliner. Qantas flights leave from the Tom Bradley Terminal at LAX and have dedicated check-in lines for all the different classes. Qantas Club members can use the Premium Economy queue, while other status members can use either the Business or First Line depending on their tier. Check-in was quick and I headed upstairs through TSA into the main terminal area. Qantas shares a business lounge at LAX with fellow One World members at BA and Cathay Pacific. The lounge is laid out in a square shape with a hole in the middle and seating all around. There was a dedicated dining area with quite a few options to eat. The LAX Business Lounge also has an attended bar where you can order from a wide range of drinks. After I was done eating, I headed back out to the terminal area for a bit of plane spotting. Back when I filmed this, all the flights from LA to Australia would leave roughly around the same time late at night. There were two Qantas A380 flights, one to Sydney and one to Melbourne, as well as two Qantas 787 flights, another one to Melbourne, the one I'm on, and one to Brisbane. The priority boarding line was already packed by the time I got to the gate. Business class on the Qantas 787 is split up into two cabins. A larger front cabin with eight rows and a smaller rear cabin with just three rows. I chose a bulkhead seat and the smaller rear cabin, 10K. Qantas's 787s feature their business suite product, similar to what's found on the A330 and vastly improved over the A380 Skybed 2 seat. The seats are laid out in a 1-2-1 configuration, with the window seats alternating closer to the window or closer to the aisle. A pillow and mattress pad were already on my seat. Having a closer look at the seat, there's a decently sized, but not huge, IFE screen, loads of leg and foot room, and a generous sized side console. The side console has seat controls, power outlets, and there were also noise cancelling headphones, a bottle of water and an amenity ticket ready to go. The IFE screen actually tilts a bit, so you can watch it while reclined or in bed mode. Let's have a look at what's on the menu for tonight's flight. Qantas also gives a breakfast card to fill out ahead of time so you can sleep in for longer and save time. The side console also has a remote for the IFE screen and a table that pops out.
Strangely, you didn't get a choice in size for the pajamas. You just got what you got. The Qantas IFE has plenty of options to keep you busy for a 16 hour flight with movies, TV shows, music, games and more. The Qantas Business Suite has a reclined seating position preset that you can use for takeoff and landing. The amenity kit is very basic and definitely behind the competition. Now for my favourite part about Qantas, the food. It started with solid unspreadable butter. And that was followed by a steak that was literally inedible, and I mean literally inedible. The steak was so tough that you physically could not even cut it. This poor cow died for nothing. After waiting a very long time after pressing the call button, the crew offered me a replacement steak which I took, but it was just as bad. Truly the worst attempt at food I've had on a plane. I ended up changing to the chicken which was unmemorable. For dessert I had the sticky date pudding, which was decent and a tub of ice cream, which was rock solid. The meal service was pretty disappointing. There was no appetizer or post takeoff drink. It started with the bread and just went straight into the main meal. For some reason, the crew didn't offer any water throughout the service either. Qantas does offer a shorter sleep sooner meal service, but I opted to go for the full dining experience and it was very average for business class. After dinner, I made my bed myself and the crew didn't offer any help. I woke up a few hours later and had a pulled pork panini snack, which was okay. I also went for a walk and found this handy station at the back of the economy cabin with self-serve amenity kits and snacks. While we're on the topic of walking around, I couldn't help but notice that premium economy passengers would come through the curtains and use the business class bathrooms as well. My breakfast order was brought around and served somewhat hurriedly as you can see by the unfolded tablecloth. 
Thankfully, it was better than dinner. Before landing, the crew came around with a hot towel. Strangely, there was no hot towel offered after takeoff, and that pretty much sums up the entire experience. Although the crew members were genuine and friendly, the service itself lacked attention to detail right across the board. Some might argue that those finer details are what separates first class from business class. But when other airlines are nailing those details in business class, it just goes to show that Qantas is average at best. <laughs>